we're talking about the pesky pests, the ones that can live on your, on your chickens or in the housing. And it's essential to be vigilant. So I always say to people, vigilance is key with this sort of thing because it doesn't take long for an infestation to go from a few mites in the housing or lice on the birds to a full blown infestation fairly quickly. Really important that you're vigilant when you're cleaning out the housing every week and using the total mite kill products to actually tackle any mites and lice in the environment. When you're looking out for red mites in the housing, there's something that's quite difficult to detect during the daytime because they're creatures that come out at night. During the daytime, they'll hide in the nooks and crevices in your housing and they're a little bit more difficult to spot. Before red mites have a blood feed off the chickens at night when they come out attracted by the warmth, they are sort of dark grey coloured and they cluster in all the crevices and little cracks in the housing. So you'll find them perhaps around the edges of doors or in the roof cracks, something like that in there. One thing you'll also notice is you'll notice a sort of grey deposit in the housing, which is the mites outer casing and the, their droppings as they fall away. And it's a bit like having grey cigarette ash around the inside of the housing, so it's quite easy to spot. It really is, really is key when you're cleaning out to take the housing apart as much as possible, especially in the summer when it's nice weather and it's easy to dry as well. Give it a good old clean. I mean, as you're taking each component out, have a good look at it. Get your specs on if you need them. Have a good look and inspect each bit for any mites and lice sort of on the undersides of the roosting bars and in the roosting bar brackets. If you spot that you've got some red mites in the housing, one way to stop a massive infestation is to tackle it really quickly. And to do that, what you need to do is you need to break their breeding cycle, which happens roughly every three days. So what I do is take all the housing apart, scrub it with hot soapy water and clean it. Either let it dry in the sunshine if you've got some, because UV light is a great steriliser and mite killer, um, or towel it dry in the winter if it's a bit more wet. Um, get it nice and dry first, spray it with the total mite kill, the ready to use spray. Um, that's coloured so you can see that it separates out. Um, you need to, need to shake it before you use it. The reason that it's coloured and separates out is that it's got a coating agent in it which contains permethrin, which is the, the mite killing agent in it. And that actually coats the inside of the housing after it's dried to continue knocking down the mites afterwards. So take everything apart, dry it off, spray it, then powder it with the hygiene hygiene powder afterwards. You need to repeat this every three days when you've got an infestation until you've knocked the mites right back and then continue using it as weekly as part of a weekly clean. It's really important that you use that weekly clean as preventative to stop it happening again. And as a final step for getting rid of those mites, use the Total Mite Kill Aerosol Spray. This is one of my favourites because it's got a really high velocity spray on it. So you can get right into all the nooks and crannies inside the housing. One of the key bits that people find hard to get to are the rafters and the, the inside of the roofing structure. Um, that's where the mites like to hang out in all the cracks. So you can really squoosh this in there and kill all the mites that are hiding out there.